and the other person who has me can go as well. So, um, question number one. What is evidence? See, two strong hands. Voice is off. Diane, go ahead. We'll show you to show you how it works or something like that? To show you how it works? Good. Uh, I like that, to show you how something works. Think about with, um, with crime. If someone is charged with a crime, like murder, they have to show evidence, right? So, what are some other thoughts about evidence? Show something how it works. Combining what Zion and Jordan said, I think evidence is information that supports a claim. If you haven't done this already, like Anaya and Robert are doing, make sure you copy down all the information. So a claim, if you guys remember from, I think it was about two weeks ago, um, a claim is like an opinion you have. It could be um, dogs are the best pets, or Steph Curry is better than LeBron. That's the claim you're making. So evidence is the information that supports it. So with the example before, when Kyron was uh, making his claim about Curry, he said um, he has more rings. Or another piece of evidence was that LeBron's success is mostly due to the other people on his team. Okay. Robert, you got this. Okay. Does everyone have this written down? Waiting on one, two, three people to finish writing it down. All right. So, um, evidence can be a little tricky, but there are two questions that I ask myself when I'm looking for evidence. So. The first step to finding out evidence in a text is, what is the claim? Okay, so that's the first question. What is the author's claim? Before you have evidence, you need to have a claim. So, waiting on two scholars to write down that answer just like, and All right, so after you figure out the claim, the question that I ask myself is, what information And go ahead and flip your paper over. So let's practice. Waiting on two scholars to finish up. Rihanna's ready to go. Carrie's ready to go. Question. Two, Cormier, last word. 
You have two myths about animals. And we're going to read and figure out what the other myth is. Uh, may I have a volunteer read us his first paragraph? Let's see, it's really shocking. All right, when I say go, Jordan, you're going to read this paragraph. Uh, the expectation for everyone else is that you're reading along silently, so you can track the paper like Hired and Perry are doing, or you can track the board like Christabel and Janaya are doing. So before we begin, everyone track the line. That starts off with frogs and toads. Okay. So I'm waiting on two scholars to be ready to go, like Alani and Zion. All right, go ahead. What is, the first step is to figure out the claim. So what is the claim that the author is making? What is the author trying to convince you of? One, two, three. Perry, what do you think? Works. What about works? Um, words are contagious, yes. Specifically, how? How, how are words contagious? What do you think, Perry? How are you going to catch words? So, who can put that in their own words? First of all, what's going to happen to you? Christabel and Perry, great work. The claim that the author was making is touching frogs will give you words. That's what the author was trying to convince you of. That was their claim. Alicia, great work copying down, same thing for Maya, same thing in Naya. So who remembers the questions that we ask ourselves to find the evidence? Who remembers the questions we ask ourselves? Robin, what questions do you ask? Yes, so we got the claim, now we gotta figure out what information helps that claim. What information does the author use to help this claim?
once you're done, copy.